During the Connect event, an ice released LabVIEW 2021 and it's packed with some nice new features. One of the most exciting features of LabVIEW 2021 is the new SFTP API palette. This palette holds VIs made for connecting with devices using SFTP. SFTP means Secure File Transfer Protocol, which leverages SSH for transferring files. This means you can now download and upload files using password and key-based authentication, which is a much safer way from transferring files than FTP. Another nice feature is when you're quitting LabVIEW, LabVIEW will inform you of the top-level running VIs that will be aborted if you continue. This information can give you some insights on which VIs are still running and save you time debugging. Or you could use this to manually exit the VI so it can do a correct shutdown. With LabVIEW 2021, you can now improve your experience of editing panels that have hidden controls and indicators. With a simple toggle, you can show them when editing a VI. The toggle is found under the Edit menu by clicking Show Hidden Controls while editing. The hidden controls will be annotated with a dotted line. When running the VI, the controls will hide again. To improve the security and the safety of your system, LabVIEW will now warn the user when opening VIs that have run when open behavior. This will protect users from malicious code, which you've downloaded from the forum or open from the examples. And I made some changes how certificates are used. When publishing a feed to a systemlink server, LabVIEW will allow you to view and trust the server's digital certificate. This dialog streamlines the workflow when a server has been configured to use self-signed certificates. On Windows, LabVIEW 2021 now uses OS Managed Digital Certificates instead of NICurl. However, NICurl remains installed for backwards compatibility. And I made some changes to the interoperability in LabVIEW 2021. The Open Python Session function now takes an optional parameter for the path to the Python executable. This is a nice feature because LabVIEW now supports Python 3.7, 3.8 and 3.9. It maintains support for Python 3.6 but deprecates support for Python 2.7. They also added the call MATLAB function, so you can just reference the file path to a MATLAB file instead of using the MATLAB script node. This way you can keep your MATLAB code inside the .m file. They also added some auto wiring improvements so that wires align better and leave enough space when inputs are right next to each other. And I made some much wanted changes to the LV compare tool. When you compare two VIs you can now filter the results with the options located on the right hand side in this image. This lets you easily only see block diagram changes for instance. For the ones that use Git as a source code control, you can now assign lvcompare as the git diff tool and lvcompare now takes relative parts as parameters. And for the users that use LabVIEW on Mac, LabVIEW 2021 now supports macOS Big Sur. These are all the new features of LabVIEW 2021. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you in the next Did You Know.